Hi there, I'm Siam and welcome to Something Sciency. In this episode, I'm going to tell you about a weird little American parasite that makes some very odd looking frogs, Riberia ondotre. We'll be looking at how and why this happens with the help of some origami animals. Here is a frog hopping around and going about his daily froggy business. A heron swoops down and tries to eat him, but he jumps away to safety. Here is another frog, but this one is not hopping happily around. Oh no, he has too many legs sticking out at all odd angles, making it difficult to jump. The hungry heron swoops down again, and this time the frog doesn't get away and is gobbled up. So what happened to this poor frog to make him grow so many legs? Well... When this frog was just a little tadpole swimming around, it was affected by the parasite Riberia ondotre. This parasite forms a cyst where the tadpole is growing its legs, like a blister with this parasite in the middle. Here it causes a variety of problems. Ectromelia, which is missing legs. Hemimelia, which is missing part of the legs, such as the feet. Polymelia, which is having too many legs and polydactyly, which is having too many toes. You may be wondering why on earth the parasite would do this. Well, the answer is in the heron we saw. When Riberia is in a frog, it's not yet fully grown, and in order to grow and reproduce with other worms, it needs to be inside the gut of a predator, such as a heron, a hawk, a badger, or even a duck. So our heron here is now infected with Riberia. The adult flatworms have grown in its intestines and produced lots of eggs, which are now pooed out into the water. The eggs hatch about two weeks later, and out come these strange-looking things called myricidia, which swim along in the water until they come across a ram's horn snail. This is where it gets a little gross. The myricidium burrows into the snail's skin, where it grows into what looks like a worm called a ridae. The ridae moves the snail's reproductive organs and then replaces them, and grows lots and lots of itself. After about six weeks, it transforms again into a new form, which can swim all by itself, called Sicariae. This is what infects the tadpoles and makes them grow odd legs. Whew, that's a bit complicated. All those different forms for all those different places. Well, it's about to get even more complicated. If the Sicariae find the tadpole before its legs start to grow, the tadpole will probably die. And even if the Sicariae do find the tadpole at the right time, it might not show any infection at all. But if there are plenty of Sicaria around, and it happens at the right time, then the frog is quite likely to show infection, either by having lots of legs, or maybe none at all. Hey, I hope you enjoyed that. Please subscribe because the next episode is going to be about disco zombie snails. Yay! Um, that's going to be released on the first Thursday of next month and if you have any comments or questions please the, write them in the comment box below and I'll try and answer them to the best of my ability on a video that I'll release on the third Thursday of the month. But until then, I have once again written us a song!
thanks for watching. Bye!